Hello there and welcome. My name is Michael Fudge and this is yet another screencast on using SQL. In this particular screencast we'll talk about the FudgeMart database. The FudgeMart database is a series of tables and data and constraints that you can use to practice some of your SQL queries. I'm going to show you how to get the database, how to upload the data into SQL Server, and last but not least um, what's in the, what's in the database the cables uh, the keys the constraints etc okay to start out let me explain how you can get yourself a copy of the FudgeMart database if you go to dbwiki.ischool.syr.edu this will take you to the main page of the database wiki from here if you go down to learning units and click on learning unit 4 at the bottom uh, you will see a SQL file required for lab so this SQL file is available to anybody you don't have to be taking the course to get to this file and uh, when you go to download it's going to ask you to open it up if you have the SQL Server um, Management Studio product installed it will ask you to open it up in SQL Server Management Studio um, I'm just going to allow this stuff to go ahead and do its thing and I get a series of SQL statements that create the tables keys constraints and then add some really basic sample data so at this point all you really need to do is make sure that you have your database selected here and then execute the SQL and um, you'll get some errors about can't drop tables but that's because um, I'm running it for the first time and there's no data uh, or metadata in the database and then after that you'll see a bunch of rows uh, affected and when all is said and done in the object explorer for your particular database instance if you refresh you should see the FudgeMart tables okay so the next question you might have is what exactly is the FudgeMart database schema and uh, what tables are in it and why the diagram that the diagram that you see before you is called a conceptual model A conceptual model represents the the data and the underlying business rules of a database so in for example in this particular conceptual model we have an, an entity called an employee and any given employee in our database um, submits zero or more timesheets. So if you're a particular timesheet, um, you are you were submitted by one and only one employee. So another way of looking at this is um, employee represents a table and there's rows in that table and timesheet rep represents another table and there's rows in that table and because the many side of the relationship is over here there has to be a foreign key between employee and timesheet to represent which employee submitted which time timesheet see at the conceptual level you're really only concerned about the business rules that represent the the problem that you're trying to solve with a database at the at the logical level and the internal level you implement the actual database with tables and keys okay so what do we have here in this conceptual model we have employees they have timesheets employees work for one department so if your name is Bob you work for one particular department if you're if you're a different employee Tim you might work for a separate department a department have several employees in it um, departments also have products one department has many products but a product only exists in one department and um, a vendor supplies many products but a particular product is only associated with or su supplied by one vendor so the the magic of database design is is taking these rules and converting them into the logical and subsequently uh, internal model okay the difference between the internal model and um, the logical model is the logical model is the representation you see here but it's independent of a physical database management system so um, if you if you if you crafted up a, a series of tables and keys and, and and whatnot but didn't put it in a physical DBMS then it, it only corresponds to a logical model and not a physical model um, when we ran the SQL file in the previous steps that 
made a physical model, I'm sorry, that made um, an internal model out of our logical model. Okay, so what you see here is the tables and keys and columns representation of the entity relationship diagram that you saw above. Okay, so again, we have um, employees, and employees work for one department, and an employee submits several timesheets down here, and um, a product is part of one department, and a vendor supplies many products. So depending on the many side of the conceptual model up here, you know, vendor, many products, we have um, the foreign key up here, product vendor ID in the FudgeMark products table. So now, how can you make this knowledge work for you? Well, um, this particular select query that I just wrote here will help us determine who the vendors are in FudgeMart. And you can see it returns a table of the particular vendors. Uh, I could also write something similar that said, give me the, the products that we sell in FudgeMart. And that would give you a list of products. Now, if you want to take, um, for example, the, the product name and you want to see next to that who which vendor sells that you'd have to join these two tables together so for example I could say select product name vendor name from FudgeMart products join FudgeMart vendors on and from products it's product vendor ID equals from vendors vendor ID so what you're saying here is show me the product name show me the vendor name but since they come from separate tables I have to join them on the primary the primary key foreign key pairs when I run that I can see the particular vendor and the product that that vendor supplies. Um, I might want to, just for clarity's sake, I might want to flip these uh, vendor comma product name and I might want to throw a sort on it order by vendor name product name. So I can see, uh, whoops, got to spell by right correct. So this way I can see, you know, Black and Deckhand sells all these different products uh, Levi's sells jeans and corduroy pants. Uh, Microsoft sells a computer mouse, uh, ergonomic keyboard. Uh, Mikey sells a baseball glove, a dry fit t-shirt, running pants, squeaky sneakers. Uh, Sony uh, sells television sets, Blu-ray, DVD player, etc. Um, so that gives you a little basic introduction to what you can do with the FudgeMart schema. What's nice about it is it, it's a series of tables and sample data, so you can really get in there and play around with the SQL, practice your select statements, your insert statements, uh, etc. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you soon. Bye.